Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. This is a little different angle than I usually film from because I want to try to use my dining room kitchen table to show you some things for this video. This video is going to be regarding Dollar Tree items for Operation Christmas Child by This Not That. This could also go for if you're just buying a gift for a child or anyone, mostly a child. These are mostly toy related items. So I do have my phone here with some notes on it. I do have my water bottle here because I did just get my first COVID shot today and they said to hydrate. I already drank an entire bottle of Pedialyte. So hopefully I'm hydrated, but I'm just gonna try to keep staying hydrated. Also, you will see this outfit in future videos because I started making a vlog today about my COVID shot experience and I am going to finish that vlog after I get my second vaccine and then I'm going to post it so you'll see me wearing this in a few different videos. I might try to do two videos today. So this first video, like I said, is going to be buy this, not that, or things that maybe aren't so great to give as gifts for Operation Christmas Child or any regular child. My intention is to help you pack the best quality box possible from the Dollar Tree, which is going to be a more affordable type of store than even like a Walmart or something. So first we are going to start off with cars. Now Dollar Tree sells this pack of three cars, but they also sell Hot Wheels and Matchbox. There is only one in the Hot Wheel or Matchbox package though. However, we're going to take these out now I have seen people on other channels start like weighing things. Unfortunately my kitchen scale is broken so I can't weigh the grams or anything. But we take these three out and I have one and then this is a Hot Wheels but this is also a Hot Wheels that I already unpackaged and the weight difference is really obvious. I have weighed them before, unfortunately I just didn't get it on video and it's like two of these weigh as much as one of the Hot Wheels or Matchbox brand. So this is, you're going to get more use out of it. I personally would say buy the one car and put the one car in the box rather than buying three cheap cars because these are going to break. Kids are kids in every country, everywhere. They are going to be rough with items. They're going to play with items. They're going to break. And this just feels like you could, like it'll break apart pretty easily. Now, so that I don't waste these, what I am probably going to do is put like one of these in the shoebox with two good quality ones, or two of these and a good quality one or something like that, but I will make sure that they get a good quality one. Now, if you are trying to pack more than one shoebox and you can get three for a dollar, but you can, you're going to have to spend two dollars to get two of these, I can understand, but honestly, I would recommend if you can spare the extra dollar, definitely do so. Now, for wow items for girls, a lot of people like to put in dolls, Barbie doll type dolls, and the Dollar Tree has their own version of a Barbie doll type doll. She even comes in a box like this, so it looks like it's really legit, like a Barbie. And yes, it is only one dollar. Now, I mean, she's a little bit funny looking, but you know, whatever, we can get past that. She's packaged just like you would expect any Barbie doll to be packaged. And she also comes with some of these accessories. There's like a little hairbrush, a little necklace, a purse, some shoes. But when we take out the Barbie doll, we can feel that she is super, super light. Now, now again, my kitchen scale isn't working for me to show you how many grams they are. But this one is a real Barbie doll brand and it is almost twice as heavy as this one, which just shows that this is a lot more sturdy with a lot more plastic. And if you play with this Barbie doll for any length of time, honestly, I wasn't even doing anything. All I was doing was moving her arm back and forth and it just popped out. So that shows you how fragile these are. And you want to remember that these kids might not have any toys this might be the only toys that they ever own or are going to own for a very long time so you don't want to send them something like this that's just they can easily pull apart and it's gonna break whereas if i move this barbie around the same way i can't 
I mean, I'm even trying to pull out her arm and I can't pull it out. Now, if I tried like a little bit harder, I could probably get it out. But if you know Barbies, if you've had kids or played with them as kids, they can kind of take a beating. And these ones just snap out super easily. So I would not recommend this. Now, if you are shopping at only the Dollar Tree and you don't have the option of buying a real brand Barbie, I would not put this in. I would recommend instead you get this squishy doll. Now, they had ones last year. This is from last year, and it's like half the size of this one. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog drinking his water. <laughs> but we're just going to keep going. This one's like half the size of this one. This is this year's model. And these ones are just super flimsy. I would not recommend these. So if you see them at the store, he's still drinking the water. If you see them at the store, just kind of take a look at the approximate size and do not get this. Get this instead if you really want, a, want to get a doll of some sort from the Dollar Tree. Also, I wouldn't get this little one. Although, she is still probably better than this one, to be honest. But if you are able to get a Barbie brand doll, I would definitely recommend that instead. What I will say about the Dollar Tree is that they sell Barbie clothes and this is supposed to be for their dolls, their brand dolls. However, this is actually an outfit from the Dollar Tree. And I put it on the real brand Barbie and it fits perfectly. So if you want to get an extra outfit and not spend like $6 or whatever a Barbie outfit is, you can pick a couple of those up from, a dollar, from the Dollar Tree. This is going to be a doctor, this is a chef. And what I'm going to do with this doll so that it doesn't completely go to waste is I'm going to take off this outfit and I'm going to pack it with this Barbie so that this girl has another outfit to play with to change her Barbie doll. And then I, will, I might keep this doll as kind of like a placeholder for when I make future boxes just so I can kind of measure if I haven't bought a Barbie doll yet how much space it's going to take up. These things I think are okay. These little... I dropped one. These little accessories, if you want to include them in a plastic baggie, I mean, they, they work just fine, I think, so you can still include these as well. So it's not a complete waste. If you do buy this Barbie doll, you can use her outfit and her accessories, but I just want to send a doll. The next thing I started looking at is small-sized dolls. Sometimes people want to include a small-sized doll in their shoe boxes, maybe instead of a big doll or in addition to a big doll. So we have these two. So we are going to open this one up and I will remind you, whatever you send in your shoe boxes, make sure you unpackage it because once you unpackage it, you now have more room to include items in the shoe box. Additionally, a lot of the countries that these are going to don't have as good of like recycling infrastructure and trash waste that we do. Not that we're awesome at it, but you know. So we've got two dolls here. We're gonna start with this little one. So this little one also feels pl pretty pretty flimsy, like her big Barbie doll friend over here. Um, she feels like you can play with her and pretty much the same thing is gonna happen. I mean, it was a little harder for me to pull that out, but it still came out pretty easily. Ooh, and then actually, let me show you this. This completely ripped off the side, and in order to fix this, you would actually need to super glue it back on. Because see that big little section in the hole for the doll is like for her arm is small. So I wouldn't actually be able to put this back together. It's just it's just permanently broken now. So we are going to go with please do not buy this doll. Um, I guess you can take her shoes and maybe sit, see if they fit a Barbie. They don't fit. So this doll, we're not going to buy at all. We're not going to buy it for the dress because nothing else, it's not going to fit on anything else. We're not going to buy it for her Barbie self because her Barbie self breaks off and becomes useless. Now we have this little fairy doll. This little fairy doll feels better than that last little doll I played with. Oops, her fairy wings just came off and I did not mean to do that. Um, her hair has a little plastic tie on it. Okay, so her fairy wings appear removable, and it's easy to put back on once they come off. Um, so let's see. They came off again. Her arm, it's, 
Mm, iffy. So this one is definitely better than that last little doll I showed you. If you feel the need to put a little doll in your shoe box, this little one with the fairy wings is going to be a better option. The next thing we're going to talk about is washcloths. Now a lot of people like these small little magic towels to put to include in their shoe boxes. And I mean they are kind of cute. But there are a couple reasons I don't like them and I will tell you why. So first of all, this does not make sense to unpackage before you add into a shoe box. So this is going to be some plastic waste. It's not the end of the world. However, when you have this, you need to put it into water for it to really open up because it doesn't really seem like, I mean, I guess you could pull it open if you really want. Yeah, I mean, you could pull it open if you really wanted to, but the whole point is to put it in water, right? And when they, not every kid has access to water to play with. I put this here because I was going to put it in water, but we're going to pretend that not every kid has access to water to play with and they just pull this open, which in reality, this is probably what they'll do. They're not going to know to put it in water, I don't think. However, now that this is open, it feels literally the same texture, maybe one extra layer than my paper towel, just like a regular paper towel. This is not a fancy paper towel, not like Bounty or anything, it's Stop and Shop brand. So you may not be able to see this on the camera, but I'm just going to spill a little bit of water and test it out. Okay, I decided I wanted to try to show you guys. We're going to actually do the big one with my paper towel. And keep in mind that was the big one. We're going to do a small one with this. Keep in mind this is the small one. It doesn't really absorb. Actually, the paper towel absorbs better. So I don't know if you could see that properly or not on the camera, but it didn't absorb. It just kind of like beat it up on, on here a little bit. Now it's absorbing in a little bit. Long story short, these are basically paper towels. They don't really absorb. They're not going to last very long. If you want to put it in for just like a fun thing, not expecting them to ever really get use out of it, go for it. But if you want them to get use out of a washcloth, the Dollar Tree sells these washcloths. It's two for a dollar. The next thing we are going to talk about are unicorns, horses, and ponies. So I saw this little set and I decided to pick it up. So we'll see how this works out. So I've got these unboxed. There's a tiny one and then like a mama one, I guess, a bigger one. Now this feels honestly like really, really cheap plastic. And all I did was actually just pull it apart. I mean, I don't know if you can hear that like crackling sound. Ooh. Hear that I mean this is gonna break in like three uses especially if like a younger child gets their hands on it or something I mean this is <laughs> cheap plastic don't buy it now the little one I think is a little more yeah I mean the little one's fine it's just gonna be a, like a little figurine so I will probably include this in a shoebox as a little figurine, but this honestly is going in the trash. I played with it for like 10 seconds, not even rough, and it snapped in half and the tail broke out. So please do not include those in your shoeboxes. I found this, so this is a horse. It was, obviously, it's also a dollar at the Dollar Tree. This is fine, it's kind of like the hard plastic. I don't think a kid is gonna break it. It's not super movable, but it's just kind of like a design. I mean, it's, it's fine if you want to include something like this. What I think is best is going to be this little pony. It also comes with a little comb to brush her hair. It comes in purple and pink. I've included these in the shoe boxes in the past. So these aren't going to be as good as like the My Little Pony brand, but this is certainly better than that thing that just broke. I Personally, I like it better than this, but that might just be my personal opinion. I mean, her head can come out, but I had to kind of like try at like pulling it. So again, My Little Pony brand is gonna be better. But this is going to be a better option if you need to or would like to include a pony item from the Dollar Tree. Toothbrushes. So the Dollar Tree sells this pack of four. I did already take one out um, to use it myself. <laughs> and it does come with four little um, toothbrush top holders as well. 
And I do like to include the top holders on my Operation Christmas Child toothbrushes just because you don't know where they're setting a toothbrush down and they can cover it like this. I, I personally like including these. However, they also sell a pack of three Colgate brand for a dollar. I can tell you from experience that it is not worth having four of these if you can have three of these. It's not even worth having the top. Honestly, put a plastic bag in with this if you really want them to have a top. I would get these, three of these over four of these with tops any day. What I'm going to do with these so that they don't go to waste is I'm just going to use them for myself or keep them for like house guests or whatever. It's just going to be, you know, one of those like one or two time use things that someone might need to brush their teeth with and that's it. Dollar Tree also has these. This is a Thomas and Friends. So these are small sized for little kids and I get these for little children. I did not pick up any Dollar Tree brand crayons, mostly because I know that they don't work well. If you ever, if you grew up coloring with crayons, you know that Crayola works so much better than a cheap brand crayon, like the kind they give you at a restaurant to color with, you know? So I would say if you would like to include some type of crayon or coloring thing buy some colored pencils it's harder for a colored pencil to be crappy than it is for a crayon to be crappy if that makes sense so i would go with the colored pencils if you would like to include something uh, a coloring item additionally the crayons that they have were a box of 48 for one dollar and 48 crayons is just not necessary it's going to take up way too much space in the shoe box if you're doing a shoe box if you're doing just a regular child gift i mean i would still just get them like a 24 pack of crayola crayons and that's going to work better now as far as water bo water bottles dollar tree does sell quite a few water bottles I picked this one up originally a few weeks ago or a couple months ago because I really liked, I really enjoyed these as a kid. I just thought it was super cool to watch it go up the straw. And if you are packing a shoebox, I do recommend to get a wide mouth water bottle. I don't have any small mouth water bottles to show you just because I don't get those. So that you can fill this with items when you put it in the shoebox so it can kind of save a little bit of space. I also picked up this. Now personally, I think that this is going to be a lot more useful. Say a child's walking to school, they can carry it, they can pop up the straw. That was hard to get up to. They can pop up the straw when they want to use it as opposed to something kind of flimsy like this. So if you have the choice, I would definitely go with this and always go with a wide mouth water bottle. You don't have to include a water bottle, but wide mouth if you're going to. Two more things for me to talk about. One is going to be flip-flops versus socks. Now, I picked up these flip-flops mostly because I'm just going to use them myself. I just use them to walk a couple steps outside when I take the dog out. Um, but these flip-flops are really, really flimsy. They're not good quality. And remember, these kids are going to need to wear them for a very long time. And it doesn't, it's like, yeah, you can still see it on the bottom. Personally, I would not include these. Um, I mean, I think they're okay. Cover it, having something to cover their foot is better than nothing. The socks that are at Dollar Tree, I own a few pairs myself. They're kind of thin, but they work okay. Um, I mean, I'm having a hard time making a recommendation on this one because the sock is okay, the flip flops are okay, but not great. I mean, I would probably leave them out personally. Again, it's up to you, just try to give you some options. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is books in English. Um, they have a lot of books in English. They have a lot of children's books in English. I would recommend getting one of these little coloring sets. They have these and all. They have like Paw Patrol. This is Dr. Seuss. They have trolls and literally like tons, Care Bears, tons of them. So I would get a small little coloring kit like this. It comes with four crayons, a pack of stickers, and a little coloring book as opposed to getting a book in English. Now I will say that if you do want to get a book in English, this one, make sure it's one that they can tell the entire story based on the pictures if they cannot read English. So here, we're just gonna go through the story. She's going to the doctor, she got weighed. He's checking her mouth. Doctor's there finishing up the visit. 
she's happy, and she finishes her visit and gets a sticker. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory if you don't speak English, kind of like a picture book. But be careful because a lot of the shoeboxes are not going to go to countries that speak English. I feel like this video was way too long. So hopefully this was at least a little bit helpful. I'm going to make another book, another video of things that I found at Dollar Tree that were surprisingly good. And then maybe some other um, Dollar Tree videos as well.